What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a Prince of Persia remake. Now, I am no stranger, and you guys are no stranger to seeing this kind of stuff on this channel. I've actually talked about uh, whether it be a new Prince of Persia game, or a domain listing, or a Twitter handle, all this stuff. We talked about all of it, actually, on this channel. It's been a, a lot of fun to talk about it, and, you know, it's one of those kind of smaller, I, don't, I wouldn't say, you know, it's not an insult, but I wouldn't say this is, like, the biggest game in the world, but we've all kind of been through a nice little mini, you know, journey arc together on this channel, which is pretty nice to see. And now, honestly, it looks like it's being paid off. Prince of Persia remake listed for PS4 on Guatemalan retailer. Now, I mean, it, they couldn't have picked a more random place. Nothing against people that live there. I'm sure it's a, a fantastic place. But, you know, all these different, there's been like France listings and, and all these different things. Uh, Guatemalan is just kind of going off in left field, right, in terms of a retailer. But they're right. There's a retailer uh, that says, there it is, PS4 Prince of Persia remake. Now, doesn't mean that the game exists. Exists, okay, it just means that it's posted there. But a thing to note is Jason Schreier, formerly of Kotaku, now of Bloomberg, he tweeted out and he said that these retail leaks love to ruin Ubisoft surprises. Now, there's a couple things. One, it's kind of funny that he, of all people, are talking about ruining things in terms of leaks because that's what he does for a living. But secondly, he is, you know, a guy that you definitely believe. And I believe, right? So when he says something, I go along with it. So he obviously knows that this Prince of Persia game is a real thing and that they just just leaked it, uh, by whether it be by accident or intentionally, right? But there's kind of your confirmation. I mean, it's all, I would say, it's all but confirmed. We know there's a Ubisoft Forward event again in September. This will probably be the big kind of reveal for it. Um, you see, you know, they're having that, like, uh, the, that escape room or that VR kind of Prince of Persia game. So, obviously, and we've talked about it, right? Splinter Cell is not dead. They fully know it's real. Maybe that is also shown at Ubisoft Forward, although I doubt it. And then this Prince of Persia, you know, again, it's not dead. It's been around. It's obviously been silent for a very, very long time. But again, add that even if you don't want to believe Jason Shire, even if you don't want to believe this retailer listing, again, go back. There was the domain, you know, the, the, the domain that was registered for a Prince of Persia game. Now, again, you do those things just in case, so it doesn't have to mean anything. But now we add that. We also add that hidden Twitter uh, user, right? The like basically a user for Prince of Persia that's been locked out. So uh, that I guess hasn't been a it's it's activated. It's a real thing, but they haven't done anything with it yet. So you have that as well. I mean, really, all signs are pointing to this game is real. They've kind of been covering their bases, right? Getting the domain, getting the Twitter, uh, you know, handle for it, getting you know, I guess retails uh, kind of out there ready for it. And this is something, honestly that could come very, very fast. Now, we've only heard... I, th I, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure the talk of it has always been a remaster, not a remake. So uh, being a remake of a Prince of Persia game, I mean, that's awesome. I I've said time and time again, I think these games still would work really well now. I think this is a game that you don't have to remaster or remake previous games. You could probably just do a brand new one, and it would still probably hold its own. You know, there's some games that if you bring them back from the dead... You may have to remaster them or remake them just to kind of judge or kind of like test the pulse on them, right? Do people still like them? I think Prince of Persia, and I also, by the way, think Splinter Cell. I think both those games are examples, or both those franchises are examples of things that can just kind of come back and have a new entry. With that being said, if they want to do this first, I think it kind of just continues to build my, my point where you can remake it. I guess you test it out, right? Do people still want Prince of Persia now? Also, again, keeping in mind, Ubisoft does have a lot of things releasing this fall. There's no guarantee it would release this fall, right? Because, in fact, I don't even think it can release this fall because we know all the games from their all their different like earnings reports of what they're going to be releasing over the next little while. So this game could very well, yes, it could be announced in September, but maybe it comes out after Far Cry. Far Cry is actually the last game that we know uh, that exists, right? That we know that you Ubisoft is publishing and putting out there. So after Far Cry, so in that April, May, June range, we know nothing. And we, in fact, we know nothing all the way through the end of next year, right? Obviously, actually, for a lot of different games or a lot of different publishers, but Ubisoft, you know, in this specific case. So you do this, you say, hey, we're doing a Prince of Persia remake, announce it in September, it comes out April, May, you know, whenever you do it, I think that's a pretty solid deal. So, like I said, small journey, not the big, it's not like this Batman game that's been going on for like seven years and now they're literally making us do detective work for them. It's not like that, but it's a smaller thing where it's like, you know, we've seen a lot of hints that this game could be real, this game is happening, and now finally, it really seems like all the dots are being put together that next month in September, again, if this next Ubisoft forward, uh, in fact, I even think people have been saying that, that like, this is going to be their surprise at Ubisoft 
Ubisoft Forward. That's exciting. That's very, very exciting. It should have been at the last Ubisoft Forward event, in my opinion, but, you know, whatever. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Are you excited to get this Prince of Persia game? Would you rather have it be a brand new game? Are you happy that it's a remake? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up, and I do at least one video on this channel every single day, and so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.